Hey Estroniers, Games for Life here, and in today's video we're gonna be completing the AMPP event in Estronier. If you don't know what that is, you probably haven't watched my last couple of videos, so let me get you caught up. This is the AMPP event, this is a limited time event where we can send specific resources such as compound, aluminum, tungsten carbide or nanocarbon alloy and we are getting exciting rewards for that. For example, last time we got this VTEC mask which looks really cool with this palette and in today's video we're gonna be unlocking the cage suit which is one of the most unique pieces of clothing in Estronier. We completed the first tier using compound, the second one using aluminum and now for the third and biggest tier we're gonna use tungsten carbide. This is what it looks like, so we're gonna be sending a whole canister. And an important thing to note, every time you send one of these, you lose 500 bytes, so make sure you send them full. Now let me show you how we get all of these tungsten carbide, because we're gonna need something like nine or 10 of these canisters in order to complete this tier. Here's our tungsten carbide farm. This is where the magic happens. And you can see we are getting plenty of tungsten carbide which will help us finish the MPP event and will also help us in the future. So we've got the automated trade platform which gets our tungsten here and then we've got a soil centrifuge for the carbon. They both go into this chemistry lab and tungsten carbide comes out. So that's pretty much it. It just uses a bit of power. We added it to this section of the base. This is the automation section. And you know, the MPP event would be almost impossible to complete without automation. Of course, you could just go around finding compound and laterite, but that would be pretty hard. You would need a ton of hours just to complete this event. Where with automation, you can do it in a couple hours. So I just want to say that automation is a really important part of Estronier that should not be overlooked. Sadly, a lot of people go past automation and say that Estronir is a boring game, they have nothing to do with it after just a couple hours. And I've really heard a ton of people say that even in the comments. What they are missing is automation. If you get into Estronir automation, you can play the game for hundreds upon hundreds of hours. I've got 300 hours in Estronir, I'm nowhere near bored, I'm having the time of my life playing this game. So for that I would like to ask you to go to my automation playlist, watch the videos in there and show them to other Estronir players who might not know how important automation really is. Thank you for doing that, now let's get back to the video. So we're gonna take some more of these and we can send them all. Now every tungsten carbide is 5 points if I remember correctly, so one of these canisters should be around 160 something points. Oh and we got some rewards from that, nice. I think we got some stuff for automation. Yeah we got extenders, splitter, delay repeater, a power switch, a proximity repeater, yeah so a bunch of automation items. That's cool. You know, sometimes I wish we could send one of those huge canisters out so we don't have to keep sending dozens of these rockets. But this works. So we'll send these three. We're gonna wait for them to come back and then we're gonna send another batch of three. And we can send them again. We've got more than half of the tier completed. So we should get the cage suit in no time. There we go. Oh look at that, this one came with some QTRTGs on it. We've got four QTRTGs from this. Now that's awesome. QTRTGs are really rare, so getting four of them just like that is mind-blowing to me. I'm just gonna say it, I love this event a lot. This is one of the best events in Estronier. I mean, this and the ExoCares initiative probably. I mean, the Cheers event is up there too. That's the Christmas one. But yeah, maybe we'll rank them in another video. Hint, hint. We probably need just one or two more for this tier to be completed. But I'm gonna be filming the next video right after this one. So I'm gonna need some more. You probably know where this is going. The next video will be the secret tiers video. They will all be in the AMPP playlist. Make sure to save that. It should appear on screen right now. And all of the videos from this year's AMPP will be in there. But now let's get back to unlocking that cage suit. Alright, now this should be enough to complete the tier. So let's see what happens. And we're gonna send the third one as well. Just to make sure. We should be unlocking the suit any second now. And there it is, unlocked cage suit. Here it is, the cage suit. This looks really interesting. It makes us look buff. <laughs> Like we just hit the gym. And it works extremely well with the VTEC mask. I mean, it was probably designed for this suit. An awesome suit. Now let's try it with some more palettes. And I love how the backpack is a little bit 
slanted back with this suit. It's pretty interesting. And yeah, let's see the animations with this. Okay, so the running is a little bit <laughs> weird, let's say. <laughs> This is actually funny. If you don't know, most suits have different animations. So I'm just trying to see what this suit has. For example, this is the wave in this suit. It's really different. If you remember from the beginning of the video, let me show you. We had the exosuit, I think. From the beginning of the video, this is how I waved at you. See that? And now again, this is the cage suit wave. This is the freezing emote. This is the like emote. He doesn't even show the like with his hand, just shakes his head. And this is the thinking emote. Nice. Alright, but let's see it with different palettes. And maybe we can change that hat. Yeah, let's give him the beanie. But yeah, let's change the palettes a little bit. So the standard one looks kind of like this. But we've got some more interesting ones. Like the Esri Fruit one. This looks better. But let's go one step further. The Sunset one. Now, I like this. I like this one. I mean, I don't know why we're still on Glacio since it's summer right now. But yeah, we've got the Sunrise right here. That's nice. We've got the PAL one equipped earlier. And yeah, don't judge me. I don't have this unlocked. I will, I will. Please don't judge me. Okay, so the copper palette still looks ugly, like it does on every suit. The safety orange looks abysmal. The dot com, this one looks really good on this. Like, I like this. Our little astronaut looks like a Christmas tree decoration now. Carbonated is just OP. One of the best, in my opinion. This looks like we're one of those dried plums. I don't know why it just gives me that vibe. So I think we're gonna go with carbonated. This one looks extremely well. I'm still laughing at this wave emote. This is amazing. Alright, so I'll end the video here. I have to film the next one. That's gonna be in the same AMPV playlist as this one. And yeah, I gotta go film that Secret Tears video. So that's all for right now. I've been Games for Life and I'll see you next time. Cheers, Astroneers. Oh my god, I'm laughing so hard at this. The little wave at the end. Oh my god, I can't. I just can't. Look at that. Amazing. Okay, bye.